Well, technology has always intimately engaged with human innovation and creativity. We tend to get bamboozled a bit when we look at complicated digital tools. But it's, it's important to remember they are tools. That's what we're talking about. Uh, that's what technology is, it's design and use of tools. And tools have always done two things. One is they have extended our reach. So we're able to do things with a tool that we can't do with our bodies as they currently are. A bow and arrow enables you to hunt things that you couldn't by just running after it with your bare hands. Plows enable people to cultivate vast tracts of land that you couldn't with your bare hands. So they extend our reach. But the other thing is that, and like email extends our reach, the telephone did that. But, but also a transformative technology uh, extends our minds. It makes us think of things differently. It makes us conceive of things we couldn't before. It makes us see possibilities and things that were not properly conceivable before the technology made that a possibility. And they've always acted in that way. Well, I think we're at a new threshold now as we move much more towards artificial intelligence and uh, embedded technologies everywhere. It, it, I think we're in totally in charter territory because we may be about to enhance our own physical capacities from inside. We may be able to enhance our, uh, our mental capacities from inside and nobody really knows quite, quite where that might take us. I'd write the next one or two years, but I think it's going to get more and more diversified. I think we'll be making much more use of technology. We're still not really making proper use of it. Yeah, you know, it is possible to personalise education much more than we do. I mean, for example, one of the reasons kids track around schools in groups all the time is because there was a time when the only way to organise the schedule was for somebody to spend the summer with a slide rule, a pencil and a rubber, and, and say, oh, well, I'm not going to have you, know, you two doing your own thing over there because I have to rewrite the whole timetable. And now it's perfectly possible to schedule people individually, and schools are doing that. So I think we'll see much more flexibility. I th we have tremendous um, uh, creative capacities available to us through these tools. The thing is that it's not all about technology. I th that's what I keep trying to say. I want it to be the basics are about the realisation of human talent and possibility. And, and as long as we understand the tools there to help us, rather than, uh, as things stand, the technology doesn't have ideas. It may within the, the, the near future, but as yet that hasn't begun to happen. Uh, but they're still very, very sophisticated calculators. Whether would they lift up to the point of consciousness, people say it might, I don't know. I think ingenuity, the, the, I think people's ingenuity is, is a constant source of amazement and wonderment to me in all sorts of fields. And ingenuity has been inspired and driven by passion. I mean, I, my wife often complains, you know, in a good way, we've been together a long time, you know, uh, that I don't have any hobbies, you know. And I don't really, because I mean, my work is what I do. You know, it's who I am. And it, I keep going with it because it's endlessly fascinating. It's not locked into a particular discipline. It, and, and people achieve all kinds of wondrous things if they've got the right commitment and, and drive. So a lot of what I do is trying to get people to connect with their own passions and interests. And yeah, that's what keeps me at this. The fact that it brings together such a community of, of educators, innovators, people in different fields from around the world, it creates a sort of vortex of, of ideas, of fresh thinking and of contacts and networks. And it's very interesting for that reason. You know, that people are coming together here to learn from each other and to share ideas with each other and it's a generally international group and a cross-disciplinary group. And there's over 40,000 people coming through the door, so that's inherently exciting. <laughs>